Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with WordPress. First things first, we want to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log into our existing account. Once we're in here at our workspace at Calendly, we want to go to integration, top corner of our screen and check for WordPress. As you can see, there's no WordPress, uh, so we will need uh, help of third-party app and in this, in this case I've chosen to use automate.eo now we'll leave the link in the description underneath this video automate.eo is very uh, very easy to work with app that uh, can help you make the integration work so let's go to integration yet again at top corner of our screen and slide down to see all categories now uh, we should start with the first app that we want to integrate, which is Calendly. Once we integrated Calendly, we need its counterpart, in our case, WordPress. Straight away, we are greeted with some popular integration. Uh, they are already pre-made by, uh, by Automate for us. But if you won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. In this case, uh, just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with a Calendly, with new event. On the opposite side, underneath, the action, uh, underneath these actions, we want to go with WordPress. So I'm going with the first one as well. All we have to do now is to click uh, just to click uh, try it now button and all we have to do is just to log in or create our account at automate we can also use zapier.com uh, which is very similar app to automate but works a little bit differently once we're in here at zapier let's go to the top left side of our screen and click on create zap yet again we want to start uh, the trigger with uh, the first app, which is Calendly. We have to manually pick an event, so let's go with this one, for example. And now we have to uh, log in to our Calendly account. Zapier will ask you for API key, and the API key is basically this stuff. Just click copy, and then you paste it into Zapier, and it will work. Now, uh, when we click continue, we just have to, or we can test the trigger between Calendly and Zapier. On the second action, we want to address WordPress. Like this, we also have to pick an event. There's a little bit more options that it automate. Continue, and the last thing is we have to log in to our WordPress account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.